today i am going to talk on the important and uh, very interesting essay on the rule of the road by aj gardiner in this video i will talk on the biographical details of aj gardiner we'll also talk about his style of writing and how this essay has addressed couple of important questions like what does liberty mean are there lim limits to an individual freedom or not what is meant by individual liberty and social liberty what is more important either individual or social liberty and how in certain cases uh, we need to sacrifice our individual liberty for the social harmony so this essay talks about couple of important rules that each and every one must follow outside or inside the house and then only we could have a good and healthy human society otherwise it will be a very problematic situation for each and every one so i hope uh, you will enjoy this video alfred george gardiner was born in 1865 and uh, died in 1946 was a very highly regarded 20th century journalist and a very popular essayist who was born in england uh, ag gardiner uh, was associated uh, with local newspaper from a very early age then uh, he was the youngest editor of the daily news it was very popular national newspaper then he became a regular contributor uh, to another well known publication called the star and in which he wrote under the pseudonym alpha of the plo a uh, ag gardiner uh, he was known for his style of writing and for his style of writing charles lamb uh, who was the most famous essayist of the romantic period was the role model uh, ag gardiner could write about any topic uh, no matter how trivial subject is but he wrote with uh, deep understanding wit uh, intimacy and also informality ag gardiner deliberately wrote in a style that was very accessible to the modern readers or to the modern generation and you know that his style is very lucid and uh, he has a very keen observation in a dignified manner he put a great deal of care and thought into the presentation uh, uh, language and also style of writing of his essays uh, which had make him very unique and different kind of essayist uh, the present essay on the rule of the road uh, is not an exception to these characteristics it is also a very uh, wonderful essay uh, talks about very important issues and uh, raises very important questions uh this essay on the rule of the road addresses uh, the important question of liberty and it also talks about individual freedom and uh, the social liberty and also the social responsibilities and through humorous style age gardener has illustrated this issue of liberty and uh, used different kinds of interesting examples Uh, from our daily routine life in our everyday life we always find the conflict between individual liberty and social liberty and in such kind of situations in such cases uh, it is necessary to accommodate uh, take care of others also and also uh, we must have a very rational approach in this kind of situation once freedom may not be another's problem however either you are big or small but big shall not bully smaller if you have power if you have abilities or you know that if you have capacities 
it does not mean that uh, you should not think about others and uh, so we need to follow the social etiquettes uh, in a very you know uh, peaceful society or in a civilized society so if we want to maintain the social harmony uh, social unity uh, we need to follow certain etiquettes uh, we need to you know uh, accommodate ourselves with the society we need to sacrifice uh, our uh, personal pleasure or uh, individual liberty otherwise if everyone starts enjoying their liberty uh, there will be a very chaotic situation and uh, it will question uh, the existence of even all human beings and it will not be a very uh, healthy good society for everyone and this essay has rightly addressed this important issue irrespective of uh, culture irrespective of geographical boundaries um, it is universal in its appeal and uh, it is equally important in every corners of the world uh, the essay begins with an example of a stout old lady who is walking with her basket down the middle of a street in petrograd to the great confusion of the traffic and when it is pointed to her pointed out to her that uh, the pavement is for foot passengers her answer is very strange and she replies that i am going to walk where i like we have got liberty now so it's very strange and it suggests that she could not understand that such liberty could create a problem for all you know that if liberty is entitled to the foot passengers that they could walk down uh, the middle of the road uh, it is also for the cab drivers it is also for the car drivers who could drive on the pavement of the road and if they start enjoying their liberties there will be a end of liberties of all and you know that everywhere there will be an anarchy or chaos everybody would be getting in everybody else's way and uh, nobody would get anywhere so here uh, this lady must not forget that both are equally important so the individual liberty is important and also the social liberty is equally important your individual liberty shall not create the social anarchy so what the rule of the road means the liberties of all are equally important and we should respect we should not you know that be selfish we shall not only think about our liberties but we should also consider others and have equal respect and follow certain rules follow certain etiquettes and then only we could have a very good and happy society according to ag gardener liberty is not a personal affair but a social contract so liberty is an accommodation of interests the interests of an individual and the interests of the society so here in this essay gardener talks about the foundation of social conduct he talks about two liberties that need to be preserved the individual liberty and the social liberty here one shall not you know uh, always think about any one of them while following your personal liberty or individual liberty you shall take care that it shall not create any kind of social anarchy or while following the social liberty uh, you need not to always sacrifice your personal freedom there are different instances there are certain cases in which you need not to worry about others you need not to think about social liberty you shall only follow your personal freedom your personal choices personal decisions are more important for example what shall i wear or what shall i eat whom shall i meet whether i shall go to bed early or not whom shall i marry 
these are your personal affairs these are your personal decisions and in these cases you did not to worry about others what they think is not more important for you you should you should follow your personal freedom and here we shall decide what we can do alone by our own choice either it is wise or ridiculous either it is harsh or easy either it is conventional or odd but it is our own decision so our personal liberty shall not be decided by others it shall not be you know guided by others here we are free uh, to follow our own decisions so one is free as one likes here in this uh, essay ag gardener has given an example of a train journey in the railway carriage that uh, the author uh, uses to illustrate people's lack of social sense that during your journey whom uh, you should talk or what uh, you should read it is your decision it is your own choice or it is your own freedom and it is also you know that freedom of others to enjoy their journey and you know that just like your individual liberty is important for you for others also it is equally important so there are different kinds of small matters of conduct that we declare that either we are civilized or not and in this essay ag gardener talks about all such kinds of uh, situations in which one must maintain an appropriate balance between the individual liberty and the social liberty here one must you know have appropriate knowledge of it and must not always uh, think about only one but both are equally important a reasonable consideration for the rights or feelings of others is the foundation of social conduct you know that here an example of women is given to us and according to their habits it is argued that who is more civilized either man or woman but you know that this is not a very important issue these kinds of differences are found in their upbringing here either the rights of small people or the rights of quiet people are as important as uh, you know the rights of uh, powerful people or talkative people to preserve as the rights of small nationalities here ag gardener has connected the conduct of individuals uh, in the social sphere to the conduct of nations on the world stage so from individual relationship to the society uh, he has connected it at the international level uh, to the relation between various nations or different nations and you know that there is a possibility of uh, creating problem uh, or creating clash between individuals or nations and in such problematic situation we need to avoid clash and uh, this this can be done by compromising our individual or either social liberties so to avoid clash uh, we shall compromise liberties we can be neither complete anarchist nor complete socialist and in this complex world one must be a mixture of both one must think both kinds of liberties individual and social liberties one can't stick to one particular liberty otherwise it will be a very difficult situation for others so one must maintain an appropriate balance between these kinds of choices or freedoms or liberties then only we could think about a good and healthy human society so thank you very much uh, for watching this video i hope you would have enjoyed it have a great time thank you